And all right, Nicole, let's um, finish we'll up with up left, here. middle, right. The, all right. See you. Uh, go ahead. The headlines of politics that every real estate agent and entrepreneur need to know. Go ahead, Nicole. What are All right. So the CNBC article today is Elon Musk claims Apple has threatened to remove the Twitter app. Yeah, here's what's happening. Twitter owner Elon Musk, he claimed that in a series of tweet, Apple has threatened to remove the Twitter app. Apple has not confirmed that, by the way, uh, from the App Store as, as part of its app review moderation process. Apple's also threatened to withhold Twitter Twitter from its app store, but won't tell us why Musk tweeted. So obviously, Elon is going after big media since he's purchased Twitter. It's almost like, you know, he spent billions and billions of dollars to have his own like personal toy to just like go after everything that's wrong with big media. I love it. It's it's hilarious. He's right in a lot of the things he says. Big media is trying to silence voices. But here's what I'll say. From a business perspective, Elon needs to be careful. He doesn't have the Elon T Musk phone, the Twitter phone, the Tesla phone to be able to create his own app store. Most people have an iPhone and that's how they're going to be able to get Twitter. If he gets off the Apple iStore, Twitter is basically worthless until he can figure out another solution. D does Apple have a monopoly? Absolutely, they do. Who else has a monopoly, Nicole, that you don't want to upset? in our industry. Who? Who's that? Who in our industry has a monopoly? I have no idea. Zillow. Two out of three consumers are going to use mm -hmm. Zillow to look at their property. So for all the agents out there, if I'm Elon, if I'm making a business decision, I'm not going after Apple the way that he's going after them because that's a slippery road. Same way as, a, as, a, as an agent, knowing that Zillow has a monopoly on consumer attention, they're going to go to Zillow before they go anywhere else to search for properties. I'm not going after Zillow if I'm an agent. I want to stay on that platform just like Twitter should want to stay on the Apple platform. Your credibility in the marketplace, if you're not on Zillow, and if you want to be one of those agents running around saying, uh, who needs Zillow? We don't need Zillow. You're just wrong. You need to be on that platform. It's for your consumers good. You're 60, per, 60 plus percent more useless if you're not on Zillow to your consumer than if you are on Zillow. So, so that's what I take from this is uh, thinking about our industry and saying, hmm, we have an Apple App Store. It, it's called Zillow. You need to be on there. What, are we, what else we got, Nicole? Right. All right. From... <laughs> From Fox News, Maine lobsterman urges Whole Foods to do more homework before pulling lobsters from stores over rare whale. So Whole Foods, and by the way, I just bought a house it, be, because in my because summer house we referenced Foods. earlier, because the Whole Foods is moving into town. The Whole Foods is moving into town. Yes. That's, and Whole Foods has not been getting decision. good PR uh, recently. A couple of weeks ago, this guy, Will Harris, who he, he's one of the, the top, top end uh, beef uh, distributors for, for really good, like, so they have, the, Whole Foods has this category one through five of how beef is raised. And, and they created this category of like, you know, it, is it grass fed? Is it pasteurized? There's all these levels and he's at a five plus, but he, he so Whole Foods has been a customer of his for like 20 years, 15, mm -hmm. 20 years, something like that. He says Whole Foods is green washing. And he said that on the Joe Rogan podcast recently. Here, this article, Fox Fox News, Maine lobsterman saying Whole Foods isn't doing their homework with these lobsters. Basically, th there's this, you know, there's this noise out there that Whole Foods is becoming a huge corporation. They care less about the food, more about just pushing out product. Okay, well, doesn't so could, Amazon own them? Doesn't, exactly. Yeah. yeah right. So, yeah. so Amazon owns them. So you could see that, right? Mm -hmm. It. it to me is a huge opportunity for the agents who know the local farmer in their marketplace, who know the, the local farmer's market and where that food's being you know, sourced from to get that information out. Take these headlines. Hey, Whole Foods may have the name and you may think it's all organic, but here's what's happening behind the scenes. Okay. There's plenty of articles. We're referencing one. You can go to look at that Joe Rogan podcast. It was fascinating. I listened to a couple of clips uh, this morning in the gym about it. And you've got an opportunity that nobody else can do. Zillow can't do it. Nobody else can do it. 
to really elevate your community on another level. We talk about this all the time. Be that voice that's really shouting out what are the good, you know, little small mom and pop farmers. What are they doing in your town, in your city that people can go and source food, know where it's coming from. This is something that's going to be on people's minds for, a, and people will move to locations. People will live in locations where they believe they can get the food that they want. It's becoming more, the awareness level for people is growing it every single day around this thing. I like this. This, this, this was a good, this was good. This left, middle, right one. I like you. I That's like that. That's because you like lobsters, Nicole. No, I do love lobsters. Mayo. I just, I, I, I like your story. You made a really nice story there. In the comments, uh, lobster I rolls. I do love lobster rolls. Nicole we haven't are, had one in a really long time. We're lobster roll experts. Yeah, mayo experts. or no mayo? Okay, I mean, with your lobster roll. Do you have mayo or, or do you just go butter? Well, I, yeah. I'm just curious. We haven't mm -hmm. done that poll in we a haven't, while. So. We haven't done it in a little bit. Yeah. Hey, guys, appreciate you checking out this episode of The Real Word. If you want the full episode, go over to the Broke Agent YouTube. That's where we're hosting the full podcast. If you want to continue to see the segments broken out and the short clips, stay right here on the Real Word YouTube.